So I have the shade C3, which is uh, creamy natural. So right now it looks like it's going to be a little bit too dark. So hopefully it works out okay. And I haven't tried it yet. So I'm going to open it. Oops. And I'm just going to apply it as I usually do with any foundation with sponge. So I'm going to do half my face to see how the coverage is because I have a little bit of uh, imperfection. So we're going to see if it covers. So this is with two coats and I actually really like the finish. It doesn't cover everything, but it just evens out my skin and gives it a like healthy glow, which I really like. So I'm going to apply the other part of my face. I feel like it takes a lot of reproduct to apply it to cover completely my face. Like it is a really liquidy foundation which I don't mind at all because they usually give you a flawless finish but I feel like I have to use like a few pumps to do my face which I'm afraid I'm going to use up the bottle really quickly so this is with my face completely done I have to say I actually really like it I haven't used any primer underneath and it doesn't emphasize too much my pores a little bit but that's because you know pores and when it's yourself you always feel like they're so big but I really like the dewy glowy finish the coverage I would say is like medium when you build it up, which I don't mind at all. I prefer something that's going to be like light coverage and I'm just going to apply concealer wherever I need it. I'm probably going to apply a little bit of concealer to a few places, but other than that, that's it. So right now it is 8.47 in the morning. I'm going to update you in a few more hours, but right now I actually really love the dewy finish. Like it's really glowy, like flawless and the color matches, which is really great. <laughs> So it is now 11.07, I've been wearing this foundation for a few hours now, and so far so good. I think my makeup went on really well over it, I didn't put any powder, and just gave me a beautiful like dewy look. I'm not even wearing a highlighter because I feel like my skin looks really dewy and nice. It seems to match me perfectly, and it didn't affect the makeup, that's the important part. So it still looks good, and I will update you in a few more hours to see if it changes. So it is now 1.56 in the afternoon, so I've been wearing this foundation for about 5 hours. And I have to say, it still looks really good, uh, still looks natural. I feel like it's a hint, like not oily, I feel like in the middle of the day, whenever I'm not wearing powder, my skin starts to feel a little bit, like, not oily, but... I don't know, I feel like it's still kind of wet, which I'm not crazy about, that's why I usually even, uh, I, even though I have like dry skin, that's why I usually apply a bit of powder. So I'm sure if I apply like a primer and powder, I would be fine. But it still looks beautiful, like a beautiful like Chloe look. Still looks natural, didn't like settle in any fine lines or pores. Didn't oxidize, which is really good. Didn't uh, dry out my skin and it still looks perfect. So I will update you one last time a little bit later. So it is now almost five o'clock. So I've been wearing this foundation for over eight hours. And I have to say, I like it. I do feel like uh, right now it's starting to be a little like too dewy, like not oily, but I wouldn't recommend the foundation for early skin. But I feel like it's starting to settle into uh, any pores, which I do expect. I, I don't expect foundation to uh, not do anything if I don't use any primer or powder. So overall, I really like this foundation. I love the coverage, I love the finish. I just think it looks super natural and glowy, and I just really like it. I'm really glad that the actual color matches me perfectly, so I know that C3 is now my color. So we'll be able to wear this a lot more because, well, summer, so I might as well wear it right now because it matches me. From, from now on though, I will wear a uh, primer and a powder just to make sure that my skin stays matte all day. Because it is like hot and like, Humid right now, it doesn't help, but my skin is usually more on the dry side, but right now it's kind of, it kind of limits, so probably because I'm so used to wearing powder over foundation that I feel like it never sets completely, but at least it didn't oxidize, which is better than last time. Thinking about you, we're vulnerably naked. If you have normal to dry skin, I really recommend this foundation. It gives you a really nice dewy finish. It lasts a few hours. It looks... It looks really natural and dewy, so overall, really love the foundation and recommend it. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like first impression videos. Let me know in the comments what I can do to improve them. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.